Hi guys, I just came back from conservatory, so I'm a little bit tired, but I really wanted to do something in my plant room that I was planning to do for weeks, and that is fix my Graptovaria Fred Ives. I'm gonna tell you in a little bit what kind of fixing I have in mind. I just wanted to say first when I got this plant and how much it grew. I got it somewhere in the middle of summer from a nursery close to my work and it was in a small pot so look at how big it is now guys it, it just look at those rosettes and the colors are just beautiful this winter it got these purplish tones under LED lights so um, what I don't like about how this plant looks like is this long stems here that are uh, thick but don't have any leaves and most of those leaves came off uh, in the last uh, few months because it's been pretty dry. So to show you a uh, close up, this is what would happen with leaves. They would just start shriveling and shriveling all the way and completely dry up. So I definitely don't think the issue is overwatering, but underwatering. Uh, and I think it's because it's been kind of dry when we have very cold periods where the temperatures are well below freezing then the humidity because of the heat in the house goes really down and all of the plants kind of feel dried up so they don't have a proper rest um, so uh, another issue that I have is that about two weeks ago I forgot to turn back on my lights and some of the graptocetums and graptovaria stretched in those two light two days without lights so you can see the stretching so I was thinking to fix this by beheading this plant and also using parts of the stem as well as the bottom stem to propagate more Fred Ives so uh, let's start and see how it goes I must say guys this is kind of hard it's really hard to cut this one because I think it's so pretty so I feel sad I have to cut it but I think it has to happen and I'm gonna try not to touch leaves on top but on the sides like this because they have that film as you can see and as soon as you touch it it will leave some marks and so I want to keep it as much as possible with that film on and I'm thinking to cut this again here so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use this leftover middle of stem uh, with some leaves on it and I'm gonna dry this and put this in soil as well because I have done that before and uh, it worked and then I'm gonna leave this stem here and see if it's gonna grow some new Fred Ives and now we come to this big one I'm thinking where to cut okay to leave a little bit below to remove this leaf all right here it is guys I succeeded not to touch this one much okay, look at how beautiful it is I think I'm gonna have to remove one more leaf here at the bottom I'm gonna gently wiggle because I'm gonna try to propagate the Fred Ive leaves as well and then I'm thinking to cut this stem again here and place this in soil when it dries up as well and then I'm gonna cut this stem a little bit more down And see if it's gonna grow some new Fred Ives here so I'm gonna let this these rosettes just dry a little bit and then I'm gonna put them in a um, rooting hormone and place in the soil so here they are guys two rosettes and that I dipped in a rooting hormone and placed in dry soil and there is some leaves that I'm propagating there is these two stems that I cut down and then I have to find another pot for these. The reason why I'm going to have to have another pot for these is that I can't place them here even though there is plenty space because this one will need to be watered more often than the pot with these guys or with these guys. So these guys would more uh, have pretty similar watering needs as this pot but I cannot 
place them because they would be too crowded so I'm gonna have to find another pot for them but I will give you updates uh, hopefully in a month uh, with how they're doing thank you guys for watching see you in the next video